Okay, here we're set up to test the thermocouple on the bench. Uh, I've got a little torch right here, and it's going to warm this thermocouple. And I've got the meter right here, and it's set in DC volts. Uh, if it's not an auto-ranging auto meter, so we're going to have to set that meter in DC millivolts. Now you see it's reading zero right now. And I've got the uh, leads hooked up to the thermocouple. Now let's take a look at what happens when I start this thing. Now you can see your voltage is coming up. And most of these things will drop out at 10 millivolts. They should operate, we generally figure 18 to 22. Now using a torch like I have here is pretty intense heat and it'll probably bring it up above the 22 by quite a bit. Uh, normally you would test these things actually inside the furnace uh, using the pilot light that's available. Okay, so we're sitting about 27. Now I'm going to show you the, uh, the way we hook these leads up. This is important how these leads are hooked up. Okay, you can see in this black one, there's a little insulator right here. You want it on the button, not past the insulation. You don't want it up here someplace. You want it down here. And then the other one can just be on the uh, copper tube. And it'll read uh, whatever uh, millivolts this thing's putting out. Now, right now, let's see. Putting out about 31. I'm going to shut this off. And you can see this thing drop down as it starts to cool. Now, I'm not going to wait for it to cool down, but uh, anyway, you get the idea. Once the flame is off, the power goes down. Okay, let's take a close look at this button. Now that button needs to have very good contact. Uh, so it needs to be clean. It does not need to be sanded. Do not sand this thing. Take and rub the end of it on your shirt sleeve. That works really good to clean these up. See, we're only dealing in up to 30 millivolts. Uh, as a comparison, a volt and a half flashlight battery is 1500 millivolts. So there's not very much pressure pushing power through this, so the contact's got to be really good. This thing should be tight, but don't reef on it hard. It should be snug. You reef on it hard, sometimes you'll damage them and they won't work at all. Anyway, that is the thermocouple uh, hooked up to a meter to determine if it's any good.